South Dakota Attorney General Marty Jackley is back at his old job after being away for four years. And while the experience from 10 years of service as Attorney General has helped guide the way, it's still been a bit of a learning curve for the state's top law enforcement officer as he prepares to push a full docket of bills through the legislature. State House reporter Austin Goss caught up with the AG and Peer to talk about being back on the job and his priorities for the coming year. How's it feel? It feels wonderful. Obviously, getting to see uh, old friends, meeting new friends. Uh, we have a great team here. Uh, we've got some challenges ahead in South Dakota. In 2019, Marty Jackley left the state's top law enforcement office, one he had been in for 10 years. Now, four years later, he's back. I'm in that honeymoon phase where everybody was super nice to me, super helpful. I mean, there's a pretty steep learning curve. We do a lot of things at the Attorney General's office, some of which I'm familiar with, some of which are new. And with Jackley comes five different bills on behalf of the office he will look to pass into law before session comes to a close. Two of them have to do with election security. SB 46 would establish the crime of perjury when circulating a petition and making misrepresentations under oath. SB 47 would allow for election laws to be prosecuted. Jackley says election laws are currently exempted out of the prosecution side. This really what it does is strengthens the integrity of elections by addressing the petition process and it also addresses existing law and being able to enforce existing law. The Attorney General's office has a full docket this year. In addition to the two election security bills, the Attorney General's office has three other bills dealing with data privacy, protecting police, and witness tampering. He will also look to help tackle the rise of violent crime seen across the state. I had an opportunity to talk to both mayors and we were on the same page on that. I had an opportunity to talk to the sheriffs and part of this is about relationships. And so immediately what has been going on is the Attorney General wants to use those relationships to be active in task forces. Task forces that address both violent crime and addiction. As for Jackley's five bills, two were heard in the Senate Judiciary Committee Thursday morning. The other three will be heard in the same committee at a later date. In Pierre, I'm Austin Goss.